first move in golf is critical. As you get set up to the golf ball, or as I watch students or golfers get set up to the golf ball, you can pretty much tell as soon as that club started to travel back, say about a foot, whether that swing is gonna be successful or not. And the reason for that is because of what I'm gonna talk about very much in this video. See, golfers that are good, and obviously professional or elitist golfers, they understand that they wanna move the hands and their arms first in the backswing position. They understand they wanna keep the head still. Of course, you're gonna rotate as you start to move your arms more to the side of your body. But this is why we tend to see the pros working on very similar things in this first move. They try and keep the lead arm connected. They try and get the feeling of the club head traveling straight back. And one of the reasons why this move is so key is because it induces a tilt. And if I can get into this position, then it's much easier to sequence the rest of the golf swing, which is why, like I say, we tend to see pros working on that sort of first move. Now, most amateurs tend to get that first move quite wrong. They tend to move the body too much, they tend to move the head too much, or they tend to overdo it with too much wrist movement. And this is why I would strongly suggest, right? Now, one of the things that I work with a lot of students, and particularly online students, is I get them to pause. And what I mean by this is I'll get them to step to the ball, and when they're trying to recite positions to me, I'll ask them to pause in the first move, pause at the top, and then just try and hit it coming in towards that downswing position. And that's one of the things that I encourage them to do. But what I'd suggest that you guys could work on, right, is not starting with the club behind the ball when you next practice and see what the results are like. So if I get set up to this golf ball here and I'd be holding like a bit of a, say, a mid iron, instead of starting with the club behind the ball, what I want you to do is I want you to start where the club is still in a straight line, but my, right, my club is opposite my right foot, like so. But can you see the way the club is still on the ground? Now, the reason why this is important is because if I move my head, it lifts the club up. If I keep my head still and I just move my arms to the side of my body, it creates this tilt. And this way, you're then, from this position, you're gonna get that feeling of keeping your upper body more centralized over the ball, which is gonna help you strike down on the ball. So what you wanna do is a couple of things. You wanna make sure that you start with that club head opposite your trail foot. But what you also wanna do when you're doing this is that you wanna try and keep that club face looking square at the golf ball. So as you get that club here, and you take it back this foot, don't allow the club face to necessarily twist too far open. Try and feel like that club face is still looking at that golf ball in that first move, and then swing from here. And it will feel weird. And like I said, the sensations that you're looking for is that we want to feel like we're, it's almost like a long putting stroke. So I'm just sort of taking it back, keeping nice width here. So I'm not doing anything with my wrist this way or turning. I'm keeping that head still. So if I start from here, Keep that club face looking at the ball. My hands, the club head's opposite my right foot. From here, I just get the feeling of turn lift up. And then you can hear the quality of that contact. And this is what happens. It often surprises a lot of golfers. I meet a lot of golfers that say they think the backswing is okay. And then lo and behold, and you actually ask them to do the correct movement, it feels radically different. And that's why this movement is so key. And that's why for people I've never met like yourselves, I'd strongly suggest that you have a go at doing a drill like this, just because you might discover something that you never have before. I'll see you soon. So hopefully you enjoyed the video, but let me tell you something. There's a much, much easier way for you guys to be seriously improving your game and online lessons have never been any easier or any more affordable. If you head over to the website, you'll see examples of different programs that I offer, but I promise you, you'll be absolutely amazed at a couple of things. One, how easy it is nowadays to participate in online lessons. I work with students that send me videos from the course, that send me videos from the range, that send me videos from home. You'll be astounded how you're probably not doing the things that you should be doing and how helpful it will be for me, very much personally, myself, to keep a watchful eye on your progress. I've also got a video library and some structured content over there as well to help guide you on your way but keep watching the tips subscribe for more of those but like i say there is an easier way to ensure you're on the right path i'll see you soon